this uh, walking person worthy gig I'm working on here. It's just like the old stud walker here. But it's kind of a simple, um, I'm not going to carve the figure or anything. It's just going to be an outline. All right. Well, I thought you could watch me do this and see how I did, do it. Well, I want to make sure I gave credit to uh, Gabriel Zuckerman and his book, The Art and Craft of Whirligig Construction, because this is how I'm uh, making my walking person. That's a great book. He's got a lot of nice projects in here. I highly recommend this book. Well, I based mine on his Moonwalker, which you can also make a jogger or walker or something out of it. Also, I cut out some simple legs and arms here out of half inch oak and I'm gonna install bearings in here and then I got the two arms these I will install pieces of 3 16 inch steel rod and I'll put a bearing on the end of that and that'll the bearing will fit into this uh, figure right about here for the arm and these go down here like this
the wrong side.
to uh, tighten up my eyelid. You see the one on the right is a lot bigger than the one on the left. I need a post right here. So I'm gonna put this, this piece of rod right in here. set up here now. I got the vice grips on here so I can yeah. If you miss, it's best to just uh, drill a different hole.
I gotta link this to this. So, I just like to use my Leatherman tool. And I'll make a little round eyelet first. About like that, and I always like to bend it this back the other way, and then so then you get a I'll go like that. All right, so when this is in the middle, when this is in the middle, this should be in the middle. So I might want to so that's just a little tricky. I probably should have done this part first, maybe. Take this back off of there. I know it needs to be here. So, put this in here, put that like here, and look at that. I have a little clearance issue here, right, right in here, so I need to take care of that. Well, I think it'll work. Okay, solve the clearance issue there. Looks like we're getting pretty good action now. So now we got to connect this to this. Let's just start by making one end. So go in here. Like so. And then like here. Well, this one has kind of a funny bend on a right angle bend. Let's see if it'll work. It should be interchangeable. If I can get it in there. Ooh, might have a little problem here. Yeah, this is. We're going to have to take that off. Okay. Well, I got this piece off. And <laughs> now we can connect it, I think. So it'll be like that. It should be something like that. 
the, I had a, <laughs> it crimped on the end here so this bearing wouldn't come off. And so what I had to do was take a file and file off all the deformed metal and then the bearing would come off. So that's what you gotta do if you gotta Oh, look at that. That looks like too much action there. I might have to bend this out. Yeah, that's better. I just bent, I bent this out. Now it's not hitting. Oh, that's gonna be good. Okay, now I gotta do the same thing on this side. See, this won't come off because I deformed it. Take the file. Looks like he's kicking his leg far enough forward. He's coming back pretty good. So I think I want to make this longer. Okay, I installed a longer connecting rod on there. I think that's looking better. We'll see. We might have to make it even longer, I think. I don't know. Let's do the other side now.
pretty good size. Side there. Come on, focus. So I need something to put over there. And what I'm using is I took one of these things. That's like a little end plug. And I uh sanded it all the way down so it's just a little bit left this is the gel stuff I'm, I'd rather have the runny stuff but this will be good alright so we'll just go like that bam Back in business. Yeah, he's got good action. All right, now we need to give him some hiking sticks. Ooh, I don't like the location of that eyelet screw. It should be better, more like this one. We'll have to figure something out. <clears throat> well, I always use these uh, bamboo barbecue skewer skewers used for the barbecue they're made out of bamboo I think they're about five thirty seconds so I think that'll be good when you're drilling these you need to mind the angle you don't want it going this way it's better to have it kicked off a little bit this way so he's not hitting his leg so I'm gonna aim for not too much but some and I've got an eighth inch drill to start. Now I got the 532. There we go. I don't know. Skewers are different sizes. Start gluing everything down. All right, I'm gonna take it apart a little bit and get everything all glued up, and then I gotta make a, a little cover, cover up this mechanism. Well, let's make this mechanism cover here. It's gonna be some trees. Drop a super glue on there.
I'm not gonna glue this because uh -oh. I ran out of power. Because I might want to take it off to paint it. Heavy over here now. All right, now we got to put on a tail. The tail, I'm going to use this. Uh, I got some painted sheet metal, pre painted sheet metal, and I'll use this piece of oak dowel. I figured it's uh, about hiking. I think there might be some hills or mountains around there. I'm not positive, but I'm just kind of sketch some kind of mountains or something. this thing pretty good to get rid of all the sharp edges. I got this glue. I haven't used it much. Steel Tough Universal Adhesive. It stays flexible it says. Dries crystal clear. Permanent and flexible. Non-toxic. It's probably just Elmer's. <laughs> Let's put some glue in there. Just for fun. Check it out. I got I got the tail on. He's ready to go. Check this out. Carved this head about a week ago. It looks like I can do a head transplant on this guy. Oh, that'd be awesome. I'll get a little better than a just a, a, a silhouette. I think that's my next project. Let's cut that guy's head off and plant this one on there. Well, I wanted to give you one last look at these linkages. Because, uh, if you're going to have any problems, it might be with these linkages. So you can see, coming from the inside here, coming out here, inside here, outside there. Let's look at the other side. This one, I, <laughs> you can see I got it bent a little funny. But I've had it in really strong winds and it hasn't. It seems to like it like that. 
Sometimes you got to do a little tinkering and, and fiddling around. So that gives you one last look. And one, one more thing I want to say is you don't necessarily have to use these fancy bearings. The first one of these hikers I made, I just used thick metal. I used house framing brackets and I just uh, pounded them flat and cut out this kind of shape and you just let it ride on the steel post without a bearing. It's just steel on steel and it'll still work just fine. And same thing with this thing. You could just get not use the bearing and just let it uh, you know, it's going to wear, wear out a lot faster than if it did have a bearing, but it's possible to just forego the bearings and just let the steel ride on steel or brass on steel or whatever you got. So, you don't have to go to all the trouble of soldering these things on there. Well, I can see on this thing, the this stick is hitting. It's hitting his leg. So I'm going to have to redo that and put it more at an angle. You can see this other one is at a better angle. This one's not at a very good angle. I need to fix that. And I want to show you this hat. I, I had this old hat I carved. And I thought, I think I'm going to play around and see if I can't fit it on top of his head. I'll have to. Well, check him out now. I got the got his hat put on there. Here's what he looks like after I gave him a coating of linseed oil. Gave everything a coating of linseed oil. A generous coating. So he's ready to go in the mail, I think. video I'm glad you made it all the way to the end if you got any questions if I didn't cover something or if you need any help just go ahead and contact me in the comments and we'll figure it out this hiker whirly gig is an awesome whirly gig so if you know anybody who's into hiking or something like that it'd be a great gift for them all right friends thanks for stopping by I'm glad you're here take care we'll see you down the trail bye now